and they love to just, you know, get, you know, the water hose, Splash get wet, get in the mud. They sh we should learn from them. Right? We should learn a thing or two. Right? We just need some rain for that to happen, I guess. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't give you any rain today, John Thomas. Right now, what we've got out in the coastal bend is some areas of fog. You can see that has expanded over the last little while. Hebronville's visibility is up to four miles, but now fell furious. Y'all are down to just one mile of visibility, and this is sticking to the southwest side of the coastal bend. Here in Corpus Christi, we're not seeing any problems with that. Otherwise, our radar is pretty clear, and that's going to continue to be the trend throughout the rest of the day waking up out the door 75 degrees some clouds in the early morning but those fizzle out because it's going to be so darn hot and dry out there today getting up to 95 here in Corpus Christi maybe a couple clouds in a very very stray shower but generally hot and dry same thing overnight tonight maybe a couple clouds coming in but then dissipating heading towards sunrise temperatures in the mid 70s here along the coast tomorrow but with all the dry air and sunshine tomorrow afternoon. It is going to be a very hot first day of fall. Welcome to summer 2.0 97 degrees in Corpus Christi tomorrow because of the dry air and it warms up a lot quicker than humid air. You can see all this dry air spinning around this big area of high pressure here. That's going to keep our temperatures hot because of the dry air as it slides to West Texas. But as that happens and it kind of fizzles out, we'll see some moisture return in here by Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We'll see about a 20% chance of rain, so it's not quite off the table, but still pretty low chance as this inverted trough right here pushes into Mexico and South Texas. But then look at this. We've got a cold front on the way. It's been quite a while since we could say that. The jet stream dipping down with a low pressure center. That'll push a cold front down here into the coastal bend and bring us some dry air. Not necessarily cooler temperatures, but we'll see a little bit of relief, mainly in the form of drier air. So going from the mid 90s on Monday to maybe the lower 90s on Tuesday, we're really going to see the effects of it going from maybe the mid 70s on Monday morning to the lower 70s on Tuesday. However, as nice as that does sound, we do have to get through the first day of fall tomorrow being again more like summer in the upper 90s. And speaking of the first day of summer, 93 is what we actually hit this year on June 21st. First, tomorrow, the first day of fall, I think we're going to be a couple degrees hotter than that, unfortunately. Quick check on the tropics. We do have two named storms, Fiona and Gaston, as well as two areas of interest not here uh, in Texas, keeping an eye on those. The one we are keeping an eye on is Invest 98L here, has a 90% chance of development over the next five days. We're going to carefully track this for you, and we'll have more updates on our website. Today, again, hot around the coastal bend, 95 in Corpus Christi, low and mid 90s around the rest of the coastal bend as well. 95 here today because of the sunshine. So grab those sunglasses and put that sunscreen on tonight. A little bit on the drier side, clear skies, and it's actually going to feel OK outside 74 degrees waking up some places especially inland could get into the 60s thanks to drier air and clear skies. Clear skies going to continue not only day but also through the nights and that will take us from hot today to hotter tomorrow to still hot on Friday. John Thomas, and Barbie. that's the South Texas way. <laughs> that's it. Thank